what is one reason that Michigan basketball could win the Big Ten next year? Oof. Ooh, this is a very, very, there's a lot of answers I was thinking of, but I think two names, Franz Wagner and Isaiah Livers. I mean, obviously, we don't know if Livers is coming back, but I think if, if, uh, if to answer this question, I'm assuming that they both, I mean, Franz is already announced, but I'm assuming that Livers is already coming back. I think they'll both be top five Big Ten players next year. And, yeah, I think when you have two players of that caliber on your team, a, you can go a long way. Yeah, I think I'm with you. I think Livers is the big name. Like you said, we know Franz is coming back. Um, but I feel like Livers is, like, the big key piece that we need to come back to really kind of make sure that we'll be at the top of the Big Ten. Yeah, I think, actually, the word that I would say, it, it could be a reason why they falter, but I think it'll be a reason why they, they do uh, pretty well and succeed is freshmen. I think they've got a good freshman class coming in. You know, Hunter Dix- Dickinson is going to be a, a, you know, a power guy down low that we haven't had. Hopefully, he can have a, a bigger impression than Teske did last year. Um, and then Zeb Jackson. You know, there's there's a lot of guys that are going to come in and, and get some playing time here. So, and, and even with the freshmen there, also the. Uh, the transfers that we got in, you know, Mike Smith's, I think is, you know, could end up starting at point guard um, and uh, Sean D Brown, like these guys, I think are going to get some good PT. So the new guys, maybe not even just freshmen, but new guys are going to make a huge impact uh, on us. And I think it could, um, could make a huge difference and be the reason why we um, are at the top of the big 10. hundred percent, hundred percent. Those guys are great players, but here's a spin on that question, right? What is one reason they could drop to the bottom of the Big Ten next year? Oh, that is that is not not a thought I want to think about. But um, <laughs> I'm I'm thinking I don't know. I mean, firstly, Chandy Brown. Uh, I mean, obviously he's a big, big player coming in. No Jell Eastern, also another big player. Um, so if they are like not eligible next year, that that's a that's a big loss for us, um, of course. And, of course, there's always the possibility Liver's leaving to the draft. I think if all those three things go not our way, I don't know. I still don't see us being at the bottom of the Big Ten, but that would definitely not help. Yeah, definitely Liver's. If Liver's goes, I mean, he's, he's a big factor either way. Yeah. Either on top or be on bottom, depending what he does. But Shondi Brown, man, he's a baller. I, I was listening to his interview with uh, Toby on the Prattle. I, I believe he said he was like a top 50 guy coming out of high school, and it was down to Wake Forest in Kansas before he made his decision to go to Wake Forest. And, he, I mean, he had good numbers there too with the Demon Deacon. So um, I think he'll be a contributor right away, like you said, Ro, with Mike Smith. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the, the only thing I can really say is, like, if Livers left, that would be, like, the biggest thing. But we already know Franz is coming back. We know these guys are coming in. Um, and like you said, if they're ineligible for that first year, yeah. that, could, that could really screw us. I think a, a big problem that could come up, and it could come up at the beginning of the season and, and improve throughout, is going to be team chemistry, right? We've got a lot of guys that haven't played together. Um, like I just said, these new guys coming in. We do have a core, you know, obviously Livers and Franz and, and Austin Davis um, are going to be up there. Uh, you know, Eli, obviously. They've been they've all played. So we've got four out of five starters that um, – will have played together, but still there's going to be new guys. You know, Juwan has a deep roster, right? Like his, his rotation goes 10, 11 guys deep, uh, very different from beeline who had a seven man rotation. So it's very different. And, um, without the team chemistry and, and especially the leadership, we've had Xavier Simpson for the last four years running the point. Right. And so it, it's going to be different with a new point guard, whether it's Eli, I know he's, uh, known to be kind of the smartest man on the floor at all times, but he's never been the guy that's actually running the point. He's always been the two guard or something like that. So um, we're going to have have to have Mike Smith step up and with the leadership um, as a veteran guy. But I think type team chemistry could come down, um, especially with Juwan being such a young coach. Uh, you just never know how that uh, can pan out for teams. Yeah, great point. I mean, a lot of transfer players can be huge. You know, you never know if everybody's going to mesh. And then quite literally, the changing of the guard um, is going to be a huge uh, potential impact on that team. 